now that we have this uh, this curve in on the road, we can look at stuff like this and say probably don't know if we want that far. Maybe we just do this. So it's a little bit straight, but I think what we can do here is maybe break up the side of the road here just a little bit. You know, and we'll we'll texture this so that it, it makes sense. And looks like you could maybe you know, walk off in this direction. So I'll finish that up some other time. So what I want to do here is keep on with this kind of like this pattern of grass that we have. And so far, I think we might want to pull this back a little bit. So maybe here, like that. And then take this one out here. And then at this point, maybe we want just like a solid line. Whoops. So then we can push this down to this level. Pretty soon we're gonna to have to get rid of all the sugar cane. And then maybe this goes too. this area there it's a little bit flat we can come back and mess with that so then the sugarcane itself is going to be down here and I liked what I did over in this area where this is all just one one layer all the way around I think I want it right up against the road. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. Nice. Love it. That's why it's there, Cosmic Dancer. I wish there was a function that you could add into Twitch where, you know, like if I, especially when I do art casts, I love for people to be able to ask me questions. Like, unfortunately, I think I did answer him, but... Uh, in a second stream, but when Astrojake was in the chat the other day, he was asking me stuff about what I was doing in the art stream, and I completely missed the question because I was just wrapped up in what I was doing. And I think maybe what I can do, and people can let me know what you think, but um, I could maybe hook up a noise to uh, Twitch bits so that if someone has a really important like art question, not like some silly question, but if you really had something that you wanted me to answer and you you put the question in a, in a bit note, then I would be sure to get it and because it would ding my my um, my computer would make a noise and that would force me to look at the chat I wouldn't want to do it for everything because I mean obviously we'd we'd want to be careful with that but um, I think that could be kind of cool
There. So I think that this is how how the edge of this is going to look. It's pretty cool. So you come down here and like all this here is going to be sugar cane. I don't know how far out it's going to go. We can actually get some of the technical stuff done while we're here. If I like the way that this looks. Yeah, I like leaving this lip here just in case I want to do something with it. But let's go up and just double check this line. I'm happy that we got this stone thing sorted. How are we doing for uptime, Cosmic Dancer? Yeah, I might even shave this in a little bit here. But I like that. I think that looks good. I'm quite happy with it. You might even push push this a little bit up against the a little bit farther. I'm not sure if along here maybe we want to go like maybe too tall, too tall. Push the the sugar cane right up against stuff. Yeah, liking it, liking it, liking it. Two hours, fourteen minutes. Cool. I wasn't gonna stream for much more than two hours, but I'm having fun. So I'll leave it at that. Maybe grab that one and add that there. Yeah, I want to, this looks like a little bit of a pattern. Maybe we should put some stuff in here. Do like those connected textures. Quite nice. So why don't we get ourselves an infinite water source and let's put it somewhere like here. All these sugar canes are just going to be completely destroyed. <laughs> I should probably put down the water again. There we go. That way we won't lose them. We're going to need them to replant anyway. I guess they all have like a double. They all have like a double side to them. Oh, what happened there? Some of them lost their, lost their way. I guess you should probably go grab those. I'm not sure if it's a specific time, or, or just a random tick as to when they, when they break. I would find a noise thing helpful, especially for art streams, as I don't always know the answers to some of the questions you get asked, and I feel bad as I'm here to help. Well, you never feel bad. I mean, you're you're here just voluntarily so don't don't ever feel bad cosmic dancer um but no i just mean that it would be nice if i could uh if if i could just make sure that people are asking specific art questions that i get to those um so if i could get if i could attach it to to bit noises like it would i mean it helps kind of support the stream too in a like a really tiny way uh let's see here that or I could maybe give give you or give mods the ability to play a noise so that if you see a question that I don't, you could see, be like, hey, look at the chat. And that way I could I could see it. So what I'm thinking is that we put water underneath here all along here so that we can plant sugarcane like right up against this. I'm not worried about flowing water. I'm just going to fill the whole thing in. So that way, if we do this, there's now water source blocks underneath there, and we can plant sugarcane right there. Let's see, how does that, is that close enough to the road? I guess I, the real test should be this one right here. So 
do that. Do this one and that one. <laughs> yeah, you'll have you'll have more control, Cosmic Dancer. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I will look into that over the next week. Uh, and before I do my next art stream, I will make sure that there is at least something. I'm not sure what kind of message that I would want to do, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Hey, there's Mac Cass. Uh, let's go there. I guess I can probably just... These are all water sources, so once I get two or three in here, I can probably just do that whole pick thing in the middle. Oh, why is that not working? That's weird. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Think I can hit him from down here? Nope. See how close I can get. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Crap. I actually killed him. Sorry about that, dude. Oh, no. Uh, let me just... I'll go grab a chest and put all this stuff in it. Yeah, I will get your stuff. I will get your stuff. Uh, chest. <laughs> I can't type. <laughs> Hold on. Let's grab his stuff here. Do uh not picky sticks. Uh there is an ender chest armor. Probably some arrows. Don't know if he had rockets, but I'll give him rockets. Same with that. Grab those. Fire, probably that. And let's see what else is here. Uh, why are you stuck? I don't know where you're stuck. Need context. Those, those, bed. <laughs> Axel Rose, nice. Lytra, what is that was called? Wingardiums, sword, seeds, flowers, zombie flesh. I don't know how much chicken you have, but you can have that. Uh, dirt. I think I have a chest too. Oh, pants. So one nice thing about 1.13 is all the items float. Oh, we got more stuff over here. Stairs, sticks. Man, you exploded everywhere. Don't know if those things stacks are yours, but you're getting them anyway. Seriously, you can't leave spawn. Um, Relog, maybe. So I think that's everything. So helmet, lytra, chest plate, boots, pick, sword, axe, bed, pants, rockets. I don't think there's anything else that would be important that's lying around. Don't see anything. Sorry, I feel I feel bad. I was just trying to hit the pillar. Hey, he was shooting arrows at me. There was an arrow like right here. Okay, so now that we've got those in there can do this. Trick is you don't want to mess up and remove any of the water. 
Plus this way there's no flowing water noise. And then we can just grab some sugar cane. Oh, I'm good. See, Matt Cass laughed. The joke was on him. So we can put sugar cane all along here. I mean, it would naturally grow to three hull, but we can just kind of speed up the process here just because. So when you're coming down here, you'll see the sugarcane field. And then we could maybe, we could do other things along here, like maybe have like a bush or a fence or just something in here to kind of indicate it's the edge of the farm. Stuff like what I've done over at the, at the wheat field. I think that could be, could be kind of cool. So then the question is how, how far do we want this layer to go before it drops down? Joel is first for target practice when you get your hands in a crossbow. That's good to know. Here comes back cast. He obviously sorted it out. I'm not sure. Oh, yep. Thought that was coming. If I was really mean, I could have just killed him right there and made him walk again, but I won't. Um, so I like that. And then here we're going to have to do other things. So there'll have to be like a pattern of pockets of water with bushes on them uh, in order to continue things. But uh, I like that idea. I do sort of want to push it a little bit closer to the road. Like I kind of wonder what it would look like if it was was right up against the road. I don't think we did that over here. So I'm wondering if, if a place like right here, maybe we do three, four remember that and then so if it's here like that uh no i don't think the ink in the chest were yours either um probably suicide squid Grab a couple more of these. I feel like the water in my texture pack, because it's so it's the new 1.13 water and it's very, very blue. I wish I wish they would make that less neon in default Minecraft. <laughs> Cosmic Dancer causing some trouble. You get a crossbow in 1.14, I'm gonna have to keep my eye on you. Okay, so those are all filled in. This is gonna be a little bit time consuming, but I think worth it in the end. We should just go get ourselves a giant stack of, of uh, sugar cane. Grab two. Uh, maybe, I don't know, you can have, keep whatever you want. Really don't, does not matter. Uh, where was it? It was right here. So maybe, I like that look, maybe not in that particular section. But it could be, it could be cool in some other areas like right here. I guess it all depends on when and how. Oh, that's right. If I do that, then we lose the ability to put um, these trap doors down. Right. Maybe we just do it in small, in small sections. Because I feel like it would be nice to have that happening up along, up along some of these parts. Yeah, like once we get past here, I feel like I want to have want to have the sugar cane come up a lot closer, like starting like right here.
Oh, the bow had Curse of Vanishing. That sucks. Yeah, see, I like I like that being up close like that. I like that being up close like that. So maybe, maybe we can start to do stuff like that along here. This is weird that there's four in a row. I feel like this should be two sugar cane here. that yeah I like that a lot better and then or maybe even have have three Let's sleep again Yeah, I know about the two by two uh, water aster rig. I just I only had the one bucket to go with, so it's fine. What I should do is just have multiple buckets on me, and then I could just I could fill up like five or six buckets. But I'm just I'm just sort of mucking around. I'm not going to do all of this. I'm just kind of figuring out like what kind of patterns we want to do for the next time I play. So like I like this, but I think. I think I do want to eventually push it away a little bit. So like right here would be a good spot to say like push it out. So we can have this going at three. We could do Oh, I, I guess we don't have to do that one there. This can be fine because this will have the water on that side too. Yeah, so it breaks it up a little bit to have something like that there. And then these can just continue along there. I feel like I want to put something down to represent stuff. Let's grab this. And say like maybe they go back out by one here and then they come back in I feel like these ones are not gonna stay there I think it's just a little bit too close we've, we've got the water under there anyway should we need it so really, all we'd have to do is just remove that. I guess we then we get that flowing water noise. Although maybe they're their water source now. Because I think this is going to feel better when you run by. pushed back by a block. Oh yeah, less claustrophobic running through here. So I like that. And then they're like right up against the thing here. And we'll continue that maybe until like right here. Oh, I already had a bucket. Oh, it had to go in one. like that and then it'll start to kind of curve out and we can do whoops I've never actually done this before I've never built a sugarcane field 
So I'm learning as we go. I'm probably making more work for myself by putting in all these water sources, but I kind of want to avoid the flowing water noise. What I should do is just use ice and then just place all the ice blocks in and then break them. That would be smart. That would be smarter. So we can also come along here and maybe like, you know, make one a little bit taller there. Maybe make that one a little bit taller. Like that, just along the edge. Give it a little bit more of a variation, although maybe not that one. Don't wanna do it too often. Yeah. That feels pretty good. A little bit of variation, then it gets gets super tight along here. I feel like maybe why is a one by one water block flowing? No idea. Glitch, probably. Uh. So yeah, I think maybe how close do I want to go with these? One there. I guess we'd have to just go right here. Have like a long, long row. But yeah, that'll work. Whoops, totally got turned around. Thought I was farther, farther south. Okay, grab this. This might be too many in a row, but I'm not really sure. Oh no, you can't really tell. That's fine. Perfect. Like the way that that looks. And so now, uh, I guess we have to decide how deep this tier is going to be before it starts to go down. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe arbitrarily we should choose like eight blocks or something, just because that's how long water could flow. So if we wanted to put like a pretend, like a, a irrigation system in here, maybe it would come from over there. I'm not really sure. Because we don't need it. We'll, we'll do other ways of keeping the the sugar cane hydrated but like as how deep should this layer be like here we've got it cut off don't know how many blocks this is one two three four five six seven eight so we do could maybe just have it echo that curve would make sense so we've got two there One and then two. What is that? Two? Yeah, two, two, and then one. And we'll sort the rest out. And then this way. 
to well this is where we'd want to curve it the other direction I guess with all of these so then maybe how far is this one two three four five six seven eight right on time loving it uh it's is it two yeah and then two honestly blame joel blame joel for what you just did you leave and come back or are you just like swooping him to blame me for something that doesn't exist and is not my problem <laughs> How does that look? I think we should probably go sleep. Well, you missed an awful lot of me trying to build a stone curve. Finally got it right, but man, it took a long time. This thing here. Man, you can see Cosmic Dancer's reindeer from like miles away. It's so funny. The laundry beckoned. Yeah, I should be doing laundry too. I will probably do laundry uh, later when I'm not streaming. Get in some grind time. So let's pop up to the top of this stupid thing and take a look and see how this is feeling. I like them, Cosmic Dancer. I think they're cute. It gets the message across. You look at it and it says reindeer. Yeah, so Grumpy All, you missed us kind of coming up with this curved thing, which I sort of like and sort of hate at the same time. I still, I don't know how to connect it to this road. This is, this needs to be fixed. Um, it might be just as simple as bumping this bridge <laughs> one block to the left. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, but this is what we're up here to look at is the edge of the sugarcane farm and i like it i feel like i might want to bump that in just by one one bit but everything else is good there and this to me also seems to make sense if we curved that there and then brought that next level that next level down at that area then now we can kind of start to plan out like how many patches we have to do until we get to the edge and we can put water underneath this lip which means that we can have another row of sugar cane right there and everything will start to make sense i actually don't know how big i'm going to make this i the original idea was to have like all this low ground just taken care of so like just this patch here uh so i'm but i might i'm probably gonna have to cut down a couple of these trees i might just kind of trace this cliff come out and then have like an, or an organic edge to it or something we'll figure that out later uh probably something i'll do when i'm doing laundry as a matter of fact but i think that's going to be the end uh, because i've got to move on and do some other things but i'm happy with the, the changes in progress that we've made uh, this path feels feels much much better uh, and now i can just kind of come in here without too much thought and just going to fix all of the sugar cane uh, i'm going to leave well, no, I shouldn't. I don't like leaving stuff like this up when there's other people that play on the server because it kind of removes the, I guess, the feeling of walking through the South Meadows. But we can go and do that. And I think we'll just kind of head back this way. So thanks for tuning in. If, you, uh, if you're just new or tuning in for the first time, then uh, this has been a stream from The Citadel. It's a survival multiplayer server where myself and friends do geeky stuff in Minecraft. My name is Joel Duggan. I play on this server. I play on Vastin, which you can find by doing a quick search for the Realm of Vastin on YouTube. You can also see it on my YouTube channel as well. I've got a couple of uh, videos that are going to be going out. Uh, it's just my name across all the social media that matters. So that's YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. And it is currently Sunday, which means tomorrow is Monday, new podcast day. 
the Spawn Chunks is recording and we are going to be interviewing Fixit, who runs or owns the realm of Vastin along with some of his friends. So it's going to be an excellent chat with Fixit, I think, and uh, I'm looking forward to it very, very much. So you can tune in to that at thespawnchunks.com. Uh, we release new episodes pretty much every Monday, but we are coming up on the, the Christmas holiday, so you might see some, some breaks coming up there. But that's it for me. I will see you guys all next time. Yeah.